Hello people, I was bored and decided to play some Minecraft today, but not the normal Minecraft, but as you can see up in this corner, the uh, beta version, which this is more than, I think it's like 3 or 4 years old now, it was basically the version I started playing in, and oh my god I'm having a blast. I was, uh, I've collected a ridiculous amount of saplings, so I was, um, um, I'm basically going to show you one of the fun little glitches in this uh, update that they fixed way later down the line. Oh, and yeah, by the way, items move behind blocks and stuff, which is hilarious. And tons of other glitches. But basically, sometimes wood would just st stay on fire forever. Oh, and yeah, fire spread was ridiculous and the game wasn't very optimized so I'm sorry for any frame drops because my computer is pretty beast but even it lags with this because it was really badly optimized back then but just look at this this used to be the spread speed of fire it's literally out of control and I want to see if we can get uh, any of these that will burn forever because at night time it looks amazing and this is like three or four updates before they added uh, weather as well so nothing will put out the fires unless the player does I mean just look at this everlasting fire everlasting burning wood like the wood wouldn't even uh, stop burning most of the time it would literally just stay on fire so you would have a damned forest or something and yeah, over there is my base I've started on. Way the fuck over there. And around here I have some other stuff. I'm basically just doing this uh, for sake of show. And back in this update, animals spawned like uh, hostile mobs, except they spawned on grass. And if you had light on the grass, they would even spawn during night time, so you could literally remove all the grass if you had the patience and make an animal spawner. And if you let it up with torches or something, at night time it would spawn animals as well. Which was amazing. Look at this fire, man! Just look at it, it's ridiculous. It will keep spreading until it runs out of places to jump to. Mm. And I am on peaceful right now because I don't want to deal with uh, mobs at quite this moment. Because they were fucking annoying in this. And holy shit, look at the frames dropping. We're down to 30. Then again, there's quite a lot of calculations going on. They slowed the fire spread down for that reason mainly. And look at this, we have forever burning wood over here. Now don't tell me that that won't look amazing at night time. Uh, so good. And we also have the issue with you can't uh, show in front of your character, and your character turns to Steve for no apparent reason. And uh, let's set fire to this one as well, because why the hell not? Anyway, over here we have a fun little thing that boats used to be able to. These are uh, source blocks right now, but they can remove all of them, including the one down there. And we can uh, just put a uh, source block up here. And look at how fast the boat rises. You could literally use the boats uh, as perfect elevators, but it would only work in the corner water streams in one of the corner, one of the four corners, which is that one. So I'm going to have a water elevator inside of that, going all the way up. And uh, also, if you hit uh, right here, if I hit it with full speed, the boat would break. But if I hit it. Uh, like this, like literally straight pointed into a corner, or flat against the side. The boat could be any speed, and when it hits something in front of it, it would not break. Which meant that you could make a really fast uh, road type called the Eats Road that Efo invented way, way long ago, before he even started this Let's Play. And oh my god, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? This forest will look amazing at night time. Let's go and burn some more things. Pigs didn't have noses back then either. And this is the point where none of the mob AI was good at all, so mobs would walk off cliffs randomly and all kinds of stuff like that. I'm just going to set fire to a few things around here. 
Because we want this place to be burned. I want it to look as nightmarish as possible. And believe it or not, when this is like this, it's also really, really cool at night time because uh, mobs won't uh, spawn very often in uh, this part, but it uh, has a very eerie lighting style because there were no smooth lighting didn't exist back in uh, the update I'm in right now. Let me show you the options menu. This is what we had, and I inventory was bound to I back then, even. Uh, yeah. I may stream this, or, or I will most definitely stream this a bit later, but, uh, or a bit later on. But I might also record it, and if anything, I will probably upload the parts of the stream to YouTube. This music. This music has literally been in the game since, I think, first Survival Alpha, or maybe even earlier. It's so old, this track. And only recently have they actually updated the default game music. It's quite hilarious. I think it's like an update or two ago. They added more... Or actually, I'm not even sure if it's in right now. I think it's in the snapshots. Still, that there is... Uh, or only in the snapshots. Still, oh my god. That there is uh, new music still, which is quite sad. Let's light this one on fire. I want to set the world on fire. Now you will see the effect. Let's go up the long ass ladder over here, meanwhile. I'm actually having string tearing while recording this, it's hilarious. And they, it didn't even have, uh, l like, V-Sync, it had limit frame rate, which was even better. It had so little options in the options menu. It's quite cute, really. Now, look at that. Let's get to a higher point. There was no brightness slider, as you saw as well. And the fence posts were one block thick, you couldn't place um, stuff on fences. And, uh, yeah, building was a hassle. You couldn't place upside down stairs or anything. The only half slabs in the game, except the wooden ones, were these ones. That you made from cobble. That might tell you how little stuff was in this update. But it also made it interesting to try and build things, because... Uh, well, you didn't have as many options, but you could make things look pretty damn good anyways. And I really like this old cobblestone texture. The dark one. It looked so much better, in my opinion. I'm not even sure if it still is the dark one here. It looks like it's actually not the dark one. I'm not sure. It used to have a really, really dark gritty texture anyway. I can't tell if this is the one. Might be. And, like, it looked black grayish instead of uh, grayer and grayer. Or gray and grayer. And, yeah. Also, if you broke stuff uh, while the furnaces uh, with the furnaces with stuff in them, it destroyed the items, if I remember correctly. Yes, this update was pretty brutal. Or this version of Minecraft, rather. Uh, so yeah, let's head all the way up here. Uh, annoying parents. Anyway, I mean, like, look at this. Doesn't that just look so fucking cool? And the nights were pretty dark, I might add. Look at this, the terrain generation as well. Mm mm mm. Like, this was. This was literally the beginning of everything that has happened in Minecraft since. Isn't it just so wonderful? Or, this was close to the very beginning of Survival Minecraft, I should say. I'll have to clear out these trees later. I don't feel like setting fire to them, because I'm going to have a pretty big platform up here. What level is this? Eh, we're about 11 blocks under build limit. It was locked at 128 back then. And you had to hold 
F3 to be able to get this menu up. You had a little lag meter down there, and when you had this open, let's see if we can find some mobs. They might have removed that feature as well, I'm not sure. It's definitely not exactly the same as I remember, but let's see when we go down. It might still be showing when we get further down. No, they removed that. Anyway, back in these updates, when you had F3 on, it used to show the entity number. So each time you relogged and it spawned an entity, the first one would be would have a 1 over it and so on. So after a few hours in the world, especially on uh, with uh, mobs turned on, like easy and upwards, you would see mobs with like a uh, few uh, 30,000 or 300,000 in numbers. Like 3,257 or something. And it was quite cool because with this you could check if mob traps and stuff worked. I might need to change back so that works again. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go down. I'm pretty sure this is the modern cobblestone. I'm not sure. Might not be though. The L is still there. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to show right now. I just miss this version of Minecraft. It feels so old school. Uh, the lighting and also the up uh, back uh, in the subject as well. Did you also know that even though the Nether was added in the, I think it was the Alpha update that was before this one, which was the first Beta update. Might have been a 1.2 zero zero something before that, but anyway. Um, in the f like last part of the alpha, they added the nether, but the nether did not work on servers until beta 1.6. Uh, there's so much stuff I would like to teach you about how this game worked back in the day, and I probably will. I have a really good uh, drive to do such a thing. I really, really feel like doing it. Uh, all these derpy animals. Let's go and slay this peg -a. Oh, and the minecarts worked completely differently and back in this update as well. We had no booster rails. Those were added in beta 1.5. Together with weather and achievements. And I think it's beta 1.3 or 1.4 they added to Moonlighting. I am mean, pretty sure about that. And there were no beds until beta 1.3 either. Oh, the joy of this. There is so much stuff I want to show you later on, but for now, this will be it. I just wanted to show you the old fire effects because I've missed them so much. Anyway, bye-bye.